Uh, I'll just start talking here, what the hell. Howdy guys, this is Nintendo Capri Sun welcoming you back to Let's Play Wind Waker. And I'm going to sidle against the wall now, while I sneak back into Dragon Roost Island. So about the whole three quarter time thing, wow, I did not expect that to happen. I never knew it was called anything other than three quarter time, I've always... <laughs> I think the reason I call it that is because I hear that in that Christmas song every year when that guy says, And this song of mine, in three quarter time. And I've heard that stupid song so many times, it's like, oh my god. But I can see why someone would rather say three fourths or three four, I don't know. You know some people say it's not a fraction, but three slash four, I don't know. That's kind of what the whole point of three-quarter time is, is putting three where four would normally be. But I guess that's not really a fraction, though, is it? Yeah, I guess a fraction doesn't really make sense. Anyway, we need to talk to Medley, so we need to go to the second floor, and she's in here. So, hello. Aww. Wow, you really do have green clothes and a strange-shaped hat. You're Capri Sun, aren't you? Oh, me? I'm an attendant to the Great Sky Three of Loop. My name is Medley. Well, to tell the truth, I'm not an attendant quite yet. I'm actually still studying to be one. See, I still suck, because I'm a little young and everything. But anyway, well, there's a letter that Prince Kamali's dad wants you to give to him, so here it is. You know, I could just take it to him myself, but, you know... But I'm just too busy standing here on this rug, you know, trying to practice walking on these weird feet of mine. I don't know how the hell she walks on those, but okay, whatever. The room way in the back on the first floor is Prince Kamali's room. Let's go see him. I'm sure. What? Small favor you'd like to ask, huh? Can you please come to the entrance of Dragon Roost Cavern later? I'll explain everything then. Baby, I'd go anywhere for you. Oh yeah, no. I'm speaking on Link's behalf there. I'm not talking about myself or anything. So we go down here and there's some stairs leading down this way. And we should be meeting up with the prince real soon. We'll be meeting up like it's 1999. Oh yeah, let's see. Cutscene time. He's just laying on his bed, playing with his ball. What's up, man? Huh? Who are you supposed to be? I'm Link. What do you want from me, huh? I don't want to talk to anyone right now. Well, I guess we'll have to give him the letter. So, just go to your, to your delivery bag and put it on one of your buttons here and hand it over. A letter? From my father? Let's see, what does this say? Hmm... Oh sure, telling me to be brave is easy enough for him. It's not like he's the one who went through that horrible experience. It's not like he still has to go get a scale from Baloo. You're in this letter too, you know. Poking your nose in other people's business. You're nosy, aren't you? Sorry, but I really don't feel like going to see Baloo right now. I mean, how am I supposed to get a scale from him when he's so upset? What, are you trying to say that you can calm Baloo down? Yeah, right. That's just a big fat lie. It's easy to say that you can do anything. Bragging doesn't cost a thing. I like this guy. <laughs> Okay, well, you can actually talk to him again. There is more dialogue there, but it's not really important. We can just go ahead and advance the plot. <laughs> man, I have got the runniest nose today. I don't know. Man, I hope I'm not, like, coming down with something. I just had the flu not that long ago. I guess the flu and a cold is, like, two different things, though. But anyway. <clears throat> so once you've given him the letter, you found out, you know, further confirmation that this whole Valoo thing is going on here. Actually, there is a little mini game you can play over here, and man, I really busted my tail on this yesterday. I just I could not get it right for some reason. But yeah, you gotta match the seal on the envelope to the same icon on the shelf. So basically, it'll show you a symbol, and you have to throw it into that particular box. So this is how it works. You're on a time limit, but if you already know where the symbols are, it helps a lot. Like if you have that memorized, like really no you know, embedded in your head. It's hard to aim for, like, the middle ones. But the ones in the corners, you can just push the joystick till it goes over to them, but the ones in the middle, you gotta be careful. You only need 10, but eventually you're gonna want to get 25. So that'll be, like, the last goal for you. There we go. Well, we got 21. Not bad. 21 letters! Great! Good! Terrific! You pass! Gas. Okay, you get one rupee for every two letters, so that comes to a grand total of ten rupees, am I right? Come back anytime I mean it. So if you play it again and you get twenty, he'll he'll raise your pay rate to one rupee per letter instead of one rupee every two letters. Which makes this a pretty good grinding spot for rupees if you want. 
you could just go forever. Okay, so... Yeah, man, I got 24 that time. That's 24. Super! Come on by anytime. I mean it. Anytime. The better you do, the higher your salary will become. So actually, um, actually, if you get 25, um, he'll give you three rupees for each letter, so you can actually make 75 rupees. But I'm not gonna bother with that, so... I just have a little fun there. That's fun stuff. Damn, outside, cool. Let's see what's going on out here. Oh, hi, dude. What's up? We used to have such nice breezes blowing through here. Now the air is crazy. A positive strange winter is also the wind god anger. See, there's a poor shrine below here that got broken. Yeah, that's right. I can do. I could have done that shrine before, I know. But it makes more sense in the story. Wait till later, besides. Whatever. Every year the Rio sponsor Birdman contest on that island off to the east. I wonder if we'll have one this year. Well, the current situation on the island. No time to waste. Everyone's so busy with the great delusion. We're running short of delivery personnel. It's a madhouse. Well, back to work. Oh, that must suck. To just be at work even when you're at home. Uh, uh, well, sort of. I don't know what, you're, what you consider home to be, but yeah. Anyway, let me see if I can remember where that. Oh, duh, that's right. It's over. It's not right there, but it's downstairs. <coughs> There's a little guard standing outside of the place, and he says, "What's up?" Well, this guy looks mean. If you want to get to Dragon Roof's cavern, I got some bad news. The bridge is out. There's no way to even get inside. I'm sure you'll understand once you've seen it for yourself. As for swimming across, well, you need water for that. And there's a rock that's plugged up the spring. Basically, we need to remove the butt plug so we can get the place filled with water. We got some wilted bomb flowers here. That'll be important. Now, you could have come here earlier, but you wouldn't have been able to do anything. But this is where Medley wanted to meet with you, so... Hey, you actually came! Oh, please. I'm really sorry for bringing you to such a dangerous place. I had you. I wanted to ask if I didn't need help desperately. You see this place? There used to be a spring here, surrounded by a beautiful pond. It was peaceful and lovely. But then the great Valu, he became so angry. And in his rage, he shook the mountain, and this boulder crashed down, plugging the spring. You can see the result. Oh, but where's my mind? Tell me, how was Prince Kamali? Uh, he was shitty, as usual. Oh, that doesn't sound right, not at all. I may be partially to blame for the bad turn that Prince Kamali's taken. See, his grandmother was a great loose former attendant, and she was an amazing woman. I was honored to have her as my teacher. She was kind and brave and unsurpassed in her dealings with the great Baloo. I'm not yet worthy of being mentioned in the same as... Bruh. Jeez, don't put yourself down so much, you know? I mean, I used to like that, you know? But, it's like... Well, I guess there is some, you know appeal to that, I guess, you know, because egotism is not exactly great either, but, <laughs> okay. Anyway, pick you up. Oh, what is this? What are we doing the, uh, Jabu Jabu's belly all over again here? Alright, you're ready. <laughs> yeah, sure, I'll be sure and do that. So anyway, I'm gonna come up behind you here now. No, it's okay. You wanna get up on this ledge right here and wait till the wind is blowing in the right direction, which it is right now. And, uh, oh, it's not anymore. But you want to make sure you're lined up just right at this. Here we go. And once it starts blowing away from you, then throw her. Not now. Wait for it. Wait for it. Any second now. Here we go. Aha! Piece of cake. Oh, thank you! I think now I'll be able to climb Dragon Roost and meet with the Great Valu. Don't worry, I'll be fine. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you'll be just fine. Yeah, I'm not exactly bursting with confidence, but... Look, if anything happens to me, please look after Prince Kamali. This is all I have to give you. I know it's not much, but please take it. Oh man, it's gonna be great what she gives me. It's a bottle! A bottle! Our first bottle in the game. We get it so early, so awesome, so happy. Oh, and please don't tell anyone that I'm climbing Dragon Roost. It'll be our secret, okay? A secret to everybody? Jeez, I'm already keeping enough secrets around here as it is, man. I don't know if I can take this. Anyway, let's equip the bottle and grab some spring water here. Alright! Thanks for the present, Daddy! I don't know what's it. Uh, that's not a is this okay, Mommy look. He looks like he's really happy. So it's almost like. <laughs> I don't know. <clears throat> oh, jeez, I'm running out of time. Okay. Anyway, so what you do with the water is bring it over here and water these bomb flowers. And once the water, once the flowers become watered, they become active as bomb flowers again. Pretty much indefinitely, so you throw one over the edge here, we can get rid of the butt plug. Oh, not like that. Okay, let's just wait a minute. There we go. Yeah, it's not so hard. So the spring water finally is unplugged, and uh, yeah, that thing really had to go, I guess. That's kind of nasty how all the stuff is blowing around in the wind and it collects on the surface of the water. I don't know, dude. Um. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna try and hurry here if I can to at least get into the cavern so I can save. But, uh. Yeah, so we swing across here now and we can actually get across. 
to the bridge here. This took me a few tries on the practice run. This doesn't look suspicious at all, though, does it? Basically, what you want to do is throw the bombs into these pots here and get a little closer. Don't be shy. There we go. And just grab another one and jump onto the statue here and throw it into this one. Not like that. Let's try that again. We can get this. Yes, we can. There we go. Yeah, boom. All right, and that grants us access to our first dungeon. It's not a temple. Not a... Well, I don't know what the first three dungeons you'd call. Dragon Roof's Cavern, yes. Oh, baby. This is going to be awesome. But we have to save that for next time, much as I hate it. So I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching, and take care.